All right, I will, yeah. <laughs> I, I can stand here 20 minutes, no? <laughs> Easy. Done it for, oh, wow, 30. <laughs> no, 40 years. Great. Yeah. <clears throat> Some great times. Uh, <laughs> anyone got a topic? You want to <laughs> make a joke out of anything I can? But I need a topic. Masturbation. Crisps. You've been watching YouTube, have you? Crisps and a cup of tea. Was that the one? Uh, don't do that one anymore. That was not improvised. That was highly scripted material. That. Lobsters. So monsters. Lobsters, yeah. lobsters, not lobsters. Lobsters. Come on. I, I prefer <laughs> monsters. <laughs> Monster lobsters. <laughs> Too frightening. So. Okay, <laughs> right. So uh, I was walking past this um, seafood stall the other day. I had a few lobsters on there. <laughs> this bloke come up to me. He said. Um, Tell us how far the railway station is away from here, mate. I said, uh, there. I haven't quite measured it yet. And don't be like that. Just because I'm a, a directionless bloke, I don't need to be picked on by local blokes who know their compass points. <laughs> so where at, where's the station? Over there? It's over there in my opinion. <laughs> and I'll stick to it. Anyway. The, uh, last year I did this little thing and I said, um, do you ever wonder what it's like to live in Belarus? <laughs> Throwaway line. I said, give it two years and you'll find out. The trouble is, it's only a matter of months now. And you lot aren't doing anything about it. So, when you realise there's no proper news on Channel 4, and there's no proper newspapers, you'll realise I was right. <laughs> but it will be too late so get your acts together now because we can't this is deadly serious this is serious this bit what, depressing. you can't yeah it is supremely depressing which is why it can't go on you know in my, when I was a kid there was uh, I know you're not did they pass the law wasn't it where you, you're not allowed to gathering more than three and a half people or something like that <laughs> or else it's called a riot well in my day you could cause some disruption and things would be thought about and amended now it's just OAPs gluing their ears to roads and that's it <laughs> nothing else where's the kids too much reality TV for my liking. No education. 20 years this has gone on now. And this is where we end up. To the extent that uh, the bloke who leads this country, in all serious, in a news interview, before all the party thing started, a journalist said to him, he said, uh, so what's all this about these parties and things? And he said, uh, well, no one would know unless you journalists didn't say anything. <laughs> and that was the beginning of the end there. And, well, I could move to Scotland when they go independent. Sadly, you can't. Because <laughs> we won't let you in. <laughs> And a friend of mine told me about the Brexit thing uh, when it happened. <clears throat> he said that people in Portsmouth wanted a referendum to leave Hampshire. 
<laughs> it's a true story. Yeah. Right, this is an old one, a request I've had. Uh, yeah, it's 40 odd years old. It's one of the first great jokes I wrote. Hell of a money. Yeah. It goes like this. Yeah, like that. It's a bit of pen, paper. It's quite easy, mate, you know. Uh, this bloke came up to me the other day. He said, I'm a bit of a tricky character. I said, I don't believe you, mate. He said, that was a trick. Hey. Thank you. Hey. Well, 